But the big story on Action News tonight is a rare encounter with a shark at a popular Jersey Shore point, prompting a warning from local officials. It happened yesterday, a 15 year old girl apparently bitten by that shark while surfing off a of Stone Harbor Beach. Tonight, we're hearing from that teen who is okay and required just stitches. But as Memorial Day weekend approaches, officials say this incident is a timely and important reminder. New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman live near the teen's Downingtown home tonight. Trish, this is exceedingly rare, but unsettling nonetheless. Well, that's right, Brian. The family is still in disbelief. Their 15 year old daughter goes down the shore, comes home with six stitches in her foot and in her leg. Officials say those injuries do appear to be from a shark bite. And while this is very rare, they still want people to be vigilant. I thought it was just a crab like pinching my foot. But 15 year old Maggie Drozdowski was wrong. She was in Stone Harbor with her friend Sarah surfing near 109th Street Beach on Sunday when she felt something on her leg pulling her down. My whole foot was like in its mouth and um, I was shaking my foot as hard as I could. It was hard. It was like really heavy. She says after about five seconds, it let go. Sarah was nearby. I thought she was drowning because she got pulled under and she came up and screamed again like I think something bit me. I think something bit me. Maggie climbed onto her board and paddled herself to shore. Immediately felt the pain in my foot and I looked at the back of my leg and there was a big chunk of skin missing from the back of my leg. Maggie went to the hospital and got six stitches. She never saw the creature that bit her, but Stone Harbor officials say after having marine wildlife experts examine what happened, her injuries are consistent with a shark bite. Stockton University marine science professor Steve Nagowitz says the shark probably didn't intend to bite a human. The only time people come into the mix is when they're in the water with the same food the shark is looking for. And in this case, the young girl who got bit was just in wrong place, wrong time. Maggie and her family will be sticking mostly to the sand this summer. Of course you believe it, but you but you're just you don't believe it. <laughs> it's just it's unreal. I can't imagine never okay. going in the ocean again, but probably not this summer. <laughs> Yeah, and who could blame her? Now, at this point, Stone Harbor officials are not restricting any beach activities, but they are urging people, again, to be aware of your surroundings if you're going into the ocean. Now, our experts said that Maggie did exactly the right thing. If you are being bitten, aggressively kicking or shaking, the shark will usually cause it to let go. Reporting live in Downingtown, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. Yeah.